Hi Year 9, today you'll be looking at what Christians think about capital punishment. So obviously we're continuing with our scheme of bloody RE. Last lesson you looked at what capital punishment is and you'll, you'll be looking at religious perspectives about capital punishment now. Looking at Christianity first and after half term you'll be looking at Islamic attitudes towards capital punishment. So your LO for this lesson is to be able to explain different Christian views on capital punishment. So what is the point of punishment? So on this mind map, I'm going to tell you a few purposes of punishment. So the theory of protection, people get punished to protect society. The theory of retribution, to punish someone and make them pay for something that they have done. The theory of deterrence is punishing someone to put other people off the crime. And the theory of reform, you punish people so they become better people. Now, on your whiteboard, paper or device, can you give me an example of an example of protection, an example of retribution, an example of reformation, an example of a deterrent, please? So pause the video now before I put some answers up for you. So as you can see, an example of protection is prison. Okay, so you should have got something like that written down. An example of retribution is the death penalty that you would have learned from last lesson. An example of reformation is community service, so you're paying back to the community. And an example of deterrence is electronic tagging. So for example, if you see someone with a tag on their ankle, that would put you off uh, doing a crime because you'll see that you'll have to wear that around with you. So using what you have learned, what do you think the purpose of each of these punishments are? So you've got a picture of a prison, fines, community service, electronic tagging, the death penalty and probation. So there's six different types of punishment. Pause the video now and I want you to write down whether it's retribution, deterrence, reformation. So prison, is actually all three of them, deterrence, protection, reformation. Fines are retribution and deterrence because you're making them pay for something as well as putting people off. So for example, if you speed, if someone is speeding, they get a fine and that should hopefully put them off um, committing that same offence. Community service is reformation, retribution and deterrence as well. Electronic tagging is deterrence or even protecting society as well because you can obviously tell. The death penalty is all three, deterrence, protection and retribution. And uh, probation is reformation and deterrence because you're trying to reform the criminal as well as deterring other people from committing the same crime because they don't have the same freedom as they would have done before. I want you to think, I want to ask you what you think. On your paper, device or whiteboard, can you complete the following sentence? What do you think the best way to punish someone is? And I want you to explain why. And your master task is to think about whether or not the death penalty does do this or does not do this. So we're now going to be looking at what Christians think about capital punishment. So the first thing that I want you to do, can you open up the link on class charts of the YouTube video? You're going to watch that YouTube video and while you're watching it, you're going to create a mind map similar to the one on the right hand side. So in your mind map, you are going to write down three things that you learned from the video about Christian attitudes to capital punishment. And you're also going to write down two quotes from the video. Now your master task from your prior learning, what other religious quotes could be used to support or be against the death penalty? Once you have completed this task, this is a task that you are going to upload to class charts. So please take a picture of your mind map and upload it to class charts for me, please. Thank you. Your plenary for today's lesson is word search. So you're also going to go on to class charts again to follow the link to take you on to word wall. You are going to play the word search with the keywords that you have learned from today's lesson.